Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Well, as per usual, we're in for a great night tonight. I have Simon on camera. Hi Simon. Hi Carol. And we have a new guest in the kitchen, never been in the kitchen before. So I do want to make sure you give her lots of love hearts, lots of hellos, lots of warm welcome. She's got a fabulous demo to show you tonight. Let me show you what it's gonna be, look. In fact, when Simon walked in, his first words was, wow. So that's, that's quite a compliment if Simon does that. Look at this. That. Isn't that beautiful? I've got to be honest, I'm over the moon with it myself. So you could use this, if you like Lisa's going to show you how to put it straight onto a cake board, but you can go straight on top of cake, or you could actually put it on top of your cake drum, sorry, not a board, on your cake drum, decorate it, then sit this on top of your cake and just line it around with a bit of ribbon, ribbon give it an effect. So uh, are you all excited? I can't read your comments at the moment because I'm here and we've... Uh, no one to read. Well, I don't know. Can you see the comments, Simon? I'm looking Simon? at comments, but I'm trying to. Yeah. Hi, Lisa. There you go. A lot of love coming up. There yeah. you go. So, so you're all going to be really giddy with this. Just looking at it now. Yeah. So you're going to be really giddy with this. You're going to love this. All right. I love it already. I think John came and said the same, didn't he? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're getting a lot of hearts. Yeah. Amazing. So I'm quite excited to know about that. So. Wow. Me... Oh my God, that's amazing. It is amazing. And you lot are going to learn how to do it. So that's a good thing about being in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. You know, for five years now, we've shown you so many things. We've had so many fabulous people come in as well. As we've had professionals come in, non-professionals and people who just watch. And like when I, when Lisa, um, she actually, it was, uh, it was about um, doing some stained glass painting. And Lisa actually messaged me and said, look, I've got a little top tip for you. And then she told me about it and I said, great, get your bum up here and show them how to do it yourself. And that's how the conversation went. So, oh, I've not said hello to Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Carol. <laughs> She's here. So, um, so I said, yeah, get up here. And she was like, oh. But um, anyhow, she's had a chat with a few other people who've been in the live in the kitchen and is going to be, she's going to be a dream. She's full of confidence, so don't worry. Right, okay, so the ganaching kits. As you all know, I am not a ganasher, and as I proved to myself yesterday, <laughs> it's like it went slightly AWOL. I, you know, didn't, didn't cope very well with ganache. Um, but anyhow, I do do buttercream and the Swiss meringue buttercream, and I wanted to show you the kits, and I wanted to do all three um, things with you, which was milk chocolate, dark chocolate, Swiss meringue buttercream, and buttercream using the ganache kits. I did make some errors yesterday and um, I've only learnt those errors today. I didn't pick up on them yesterday, even though Clever Clog Simon did tell me not to take the cake to the top of the liner. Do you want to just grab me a liner, please, um, Lisa? So please don't do that because when I come to undo my cake today, my clip it, which is the pin, was stuck in the, in the cake. Go on, say it, Carol. They well, are not little tickets, aren't they? They are not little <laughs> tickets. They're still naughty. They went missing in the post and now they're playing up with me. And now they're hiding in the ganache. <laughs> exactly. How dare they hide in the ganache? So as you can see, you can see this liner here. Okay. And it does give you the height. I don't know what I was thinking yesterday, but just don't go it any further. It goes up to six inches and you yeah. just thought, mm, I went straight seven. to the top. Yes, exactly. And you can see how tall they are. So, um, so go up to your top line. Don't go any further. You can go as high as you want. So there's four, five and six. But I took it right to the top. Totally was just, not thinking at all. You just all. pushed it too far, didn't you? I did. Just like all right, so far sure. You go. <laughs> <laughs> so um, anyhow, so I did the reveal this afternoon on how they came out. Okay. So I will tell you the round ones pinged off lovely, beautifully. There was no trouble with those. So if you go back and watch two o'clock's afternoon live, you'll see that they came off lovely, and you'll see that the only issue that we had was I took all three cakes to the top of the liner. So as Simon says, that naughty little clip it was actually stuck. Thankfully, because the top becomes the bottom, you are able to hide it. So, um, so uh, let me just show you this. So this is the um, this is the five inch cake, the five inch uh, set. So I cut this cake down to four inches and I used the foam method. So I didn't use the Carol McFarlane method without the foam. I actually did it as the girls asked me to do it as per the box, which is use the foam and cut my cake down to four inches. If I'd taken the foam out, I would have cut my cake down to four and a half inches. Does that make sense? So all you're doing is if your regular cake size is a size six, that's what you always make, then buy the six inch cake set. Yep, and so forth. So really nice smooth sides. I did have a little hole. 
and I filled it in. Oh, it's gone. Don't even know where I filled it in now. That's clever, isn't it? So I had one little hole and it was the space that I actually missed. This Dis cake disappeared. This Same. cake, oh, it's not on the board. This cake was actually upside down. So this was the top. So uh, I've not stuck this on here. So uh, this was the top. And um, so there was one piece missing here and the bit that came off here is where the clip it was stuck into it. But overall, I'm really ha happy with it. I've never ever, if you see that's frost on the cake, by the way, I've never ever had such a smooth cake. Straight sides, look at that. Lovely and straight, can you see? And a flat top. Yeah, so that's, that's that one done. So I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna put that over there. So we're gonna get rid of that one. So we'll put these back in the freezer. Right, then the next one that I did was the Swiss meringue buttercream. Now, I showed you how to make the Swiss meringue buttercream yesterday. Now, the way that I showed you on the live yesterday is not the normal way for making Swiss meringue buttercream. So if you're not going to use the ganache kit and you want to make Swiss meringue buttercream, please do it as it says on the recipe website, okay? But for the ganache kit, you need to make it a lot looser. So I actually put it in the microwave and got the butter really, really soft. So um, do watch that. And um, I put little green sprinkles, I'm not sure how well you can see those in the exactly, bottom. Yeah. Yeah. So I put green sprinkles in one half, and the reason I've done that is I've got a class on Tuesday where we're in buttercream flowers and we're going to paint flowers on our cake with um, we'll paint flowers on our cake with uh, palette knives and spoons and brushes and using a Dresden tool. Um, we have got little holes. But I'm not worried about those because I don't cover my cakes in sugar paste. And if you're going to cover them in sugar paste, you just need to have a little bit of spare and fill it in. But I'm actually not going to fill mine in. Mine's going to be absolutely fine for what I'm going to need it for. And you'll see the pictures after Tuesday's live once Simon's taken pictures of them and sent them over. Okay, so you will get some little holes. You just fill them in afterwards. So that's that one. Get that one out of the way. And again, lovely and smooth flat top. Brilliant, isn't it? Hey, none of those uh, Cara McFarlane's rustic ones anymore, is there? So uh, here we go. Tell the other ones calling me names. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> and then we have, um, then we have the buttercream one. And again, we made the buttercream different to how we normally make it. So again, we had to really soften the butter. So do watch the video, okay? Because it's really quite important. So we had to soften the butter. Now I didn't get as many holes in this one, so. That's quite good. So I've got a few little ones. Yeah. And that one there, that dint there is because, as I said to you before, I took it right to the very top and that's the clip it. So that's left that there. There was no way we were going to get away with that. It was actually wedged in there. And then I've used these new drips. So these are the new Roxy and Rich drips. They're in lovely pastel colours. They are on the website and they are fabulous. So everybody who saw them this afternoon really liked them. So... That's just yes, they work really well then, don't they? Yeah. They're very, con very controllable. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, one of the things that you should do is read the recipe on the back of the box, which I didn't know was there. Mm. But as you all know, I'm a bit of a rascal and not reading the instructions for anything at all. And that I'm always amazed that Simon knows everything and he says because he reads the instructions. And what, Carol? I'm not photographed no you haven't i know no chance to read them. no you haven't um it does give you the recipe there for for each of the, on the back of the box it gives you the recipe um for the ganache okay and whatever you have left over just pop it in your bottle and save it for next time um it does uh, it does advise to use single cream i spoke to the girls yesterday because my meltdown was because i had double cream and i would bought double cream in spoke to the girls the night before and they said use single and of course i'm here in front of you lot with ganache wondering what the hell am i doing so um so it just went a little bit awol but they have told me that you can use double as well but single is better especially for white chocolate so those are the round ganache kits We'll take those there. And then on the square ganache kit, it does tell you as well. And Lisa's just been reading it because she said, oh, maybe a good idea if they told you that on the box. So does it tell you in the box? I said, no idea. And now she read it, it tells you on the box. <laughs> <laughs> so please, ladies, read the box, won't yeah. you? <laughs> so um, it does say, when you take the cake from the fridge, peel, pop and peel, removing the liner straight away for best results. Now this afternoon, 
I took the cake out of the fridge and I actually had it sat there because I was um, struggling just pushing the sides of the pan down. So I went off and dealt with all the other cakes before I came back to take off the liner of the white cake. So we've put it back in the freezer and I'm going to get it out now and get the other two liners off. And apparently we've just got to go with it, we've got to pull it. So here we go. So I'll just go and get the one out of the freezer. Put so let's have Put Hello? some gloves on, Carol. Put some gloves on. Yeah. Let's get it out of the window. So you don't melt it. Away. I'm not worried about your hands. I'm oh, so I don't melt the cake? I'm thinking about the cake. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> just one second. Right. It'll be fine. I'll hold it right at the bottom because the bottom of it's the bit that's struggling. Right, you just shut Right, so we've got two halves off, but I actually pulled it, so you can see that I pulled it. And I can't smooth it now, because I've actually got no more white chocolate left. So we're just well, going to go for it. I'm sure you had a load of bits left. Yes. There you go. Hey, look pull it off. Um, so that's what you have got to do. You've got to pull it off. There you go. So the girls are right. Pull it off. Don't leave there. Yeah, but just a tiny bit. I would um, then... pull it from each side, Carol, rather than from the corner like you were doing there. Yeah. You, you might potentially... Freezing that. Snap it at the corner. Yes. Okay. So, I've got my cakes in here. I know, I did that last time and then dug it in. Oh. Let me just see. See if it doesn't demonstrate going there. Right, let's get that there. And then we are going to peel that off. I'm looking at perfectly straight. How oh, fabulous is that? Do you want to pass me a turntable, Simon? Yeah. So you will have some things to do. It's not gonna you're gonna have some things to tidy up. Okay. But I need Lisa to get on with her live. So I think when I come back tomorrow, I'll have a little tidy up tomorrow. Now, the thing is, the clip it didn't stick into this because I didn't take it right to the end. So, what you can see is, when, I, when it came out of the freezer this afternoon, and I left it, and I left it, to, um, so it had come out, that's why it's gone sticky. And apparently, milk chocolate is the worst. You said that the as well, didn't you? Yeah. The white chocolate. So, it's the worst. So, those problems are due to me leaving this sat out. Mm. So, we put it back in the freezer. And now look how lovely and square that is. That's beautiful. That yeah. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. So you will have some tidying up to do. You will have to sort of get your hot palette knife and go across the edges. But I think you're all going to be happy with that. I haven't got a, I haven't got a hot palette knife. I need to get on. But I'm really pleased with that. What do you all think? And I'll come and read your comments after. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's the difference, up. isn't it? Straight out of the fridge or freezer. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to put this back in the freezer as it is. Because what I'll do is I'll get some more white chocolate and I'm going to patch it all up and see what it looks like. So I'm really very, very pleased. What do you think, Lisa? I think it's amazing. Yeah. Well, you thought it was amazing before, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, and I don't like doing square cakes because of that reason. Yeah. Well, let me tell you now, I've never had sharp edges like that before. So it's all a bit of practice, isn't it? And uh, maybe I shouldn't have had the meltdown. I'll give myself a round of applause, shall I? <laughs> well done. So, so I'm going to pop this in there. And then I've just got one That's more thing to do. Carol. That looks fab. Looks fabulous. Well done. <laughs> This. So, so I just need to say thank you. Tip of the day is? Tip of the day. What's the tip of the day, Carol? No idea. Oh, we're getting read the instructions. I'll read the instructions. <laughs> oh, that's never going to happen. I've got to 59 years of age, <laughs> winging it through life, I am. <laughs> But it was funny, we were sat here talking about it, and it's just Lisa said, well, you'd think they'd write it on the box. And I went, yeah. oh. Yeah, you would, <laughs> she just turned around, literally, two, three minutes before we've gone live. So John messaged me today, and he said, I've got a little present for you. So it's come home, and I have to, I have to read this out, it's so lovely. So she's put, Carol, just a little note to say a big thank you. These are sterling silver with a Swarovski Brilliant Cut Crystal. They have a special back locking, uh, locking back so that you don't lose them. Your tutorials have really gotten me through this horrible time. I didn't find you until late last year, but I've been an avid follower since. 
I don't know if Karen wears earrings, that means Karen's getting a set. Perhaps you could let me know and I will make a pair for her as well. My silver smithing classes had to stop due to COVID. Waiting to see, I'm waiting to see if they'll restart, but my tutor is well over 70. Due to your classes, I have started a small cake decorating and chocolate making business. So thank you and your staff once again. Carry on winging it, yours, Angela Grabo. P.S. I chose pink to match S and C. So she made me a beautiful little set. Pink earrings, look Ooh, at them. Look at those. Aren't they pretty? It's a Rosky crystal. I'll, I'll zoom in actually, Carol, if I can yep. find you. So aren't they pretty then? So I'm very, very grateful. So those will be popping in. Once I work out how to use the clasp on the back, I'll be popping those in. So thank you very much. They're lovely, Angela, and really very, very nice. Good, so I'm very, very much appreciated. I very much appreciate what you all do when you all send me cards and little bits. It's so lovely. Uh, you all are so really very, very kind. Anyhow, I need to get on, otherwise Lisa will be here till tomorrow. So oh, yeah. I, till tomorrow. <laughs> I know, well, I was just going to tell them that. So anyhow, Lisa, I only thought she was going to do tonight's live. And then Karen is off tomorrow, which meant I would have to do a live. I'm going to see in the back specialist. So I um, pulled Lisa in and said, oh, Lisa's here. She can do it. And you know what? Give her a due. She's, she's gone for it. So she's going to be here with you at half past 11 tomorrow with Simon in the kitchen um, doing the baking. It's not free from baking, is it? It's no. just baking. Just just, it's just something that you can do with the children that's yeah. no mixing machine required, easy bowl and spoon. Perfect. Good, right, I'll sit down and let you get on with it. For those it, who do want Karen's free from, she is back on Wednesday. She's back, oh yes, she is. I'll talk to you about next week's classes. So, um, let me just pop that in the freezer. Hello! <laughs> yes, yeah, you get on with it now. Like, it's my Lisa. turn. Yes. Ooh, scary, <laughs> scary stuff. <laughs> So welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Thank you, Simon. Let's go to make a I'm slice. stroking the pink balls, girls, at those. Um, yeah, so tonight I'm going to show you how to do this effect on your cakes. And you can use any picture, really, that you want to print off. I've printed off a few um, that you can use. Just anything that you can just cut, do the outline on you'll be able to do this effect on, on your cake. And I'll show you how You've easy... Done that one, haven't you? Yeah, how easy. So that's the one I've done. I uh, printed that out, and then I'll show you how to, to imprint it onto the icing. And the other thing I'm going to show you as well is using the cutters. You can also use the patchwork cutters and do the same effect with these. So if you've got these at home, you can, and I'll show you how to do those as well. So let's get started. Well, I'm very excited to watch you do this. Thank you. So Lisa gave me a little demo a few weeks ago, and I thought, for me to show you, I thought, stop that, not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> um, ganache plates, I love mine. My, this is mine. You can see it's scratched and messed. I use it all the time for my cakes um, when I'm decorating them. And kind of give me a nice shiny new one. So all you have to do is once you've got you you chose your picture, is literally stick it on to the bottom of your ganache plate with a bit of cellar tape, and then you've got your template. And I'm going to make up some royal icing using whipping it up. Um, and I'll colour that dark to give it, but if you're obviously doing um, a child character or something like that, you can leave it white, but because we're doing the stained glass effect, I'm going to colour it dark. So I don't weigh my whipping it up out, I just bung it in and mix it to the right consistency. It's not going to bung it in. Bung it in. <laughs> Well, they're all very excited to learn about this, Lisa. So lots, you've had lots of really lovely positive comments. They're all very excited. Thank you, everybody. And then, if you've not used uh, whipping up the royal icing, it literally is just add water um, to the 
whipping it up to make the royal icing. It's really straightforward. So you don't measure your water then? No. How do, what do you do, just? By eye. Do you, yeah? Yeah. So how much do you think you've put in there now already? I put maybe three spoonfuls of whipping it up and a spoonful and a half of water yeah, at the heat. moment. It would heat. But it just, it could be, it might be that it's too thin to pipe or it's too thick, I'll just... Oh, so if it's like too thin, yeah, it's like a bit, bit more, more it Yeah, I'll just literally... I saw yeah. what, uh, That's a bit like when you do glacé icing really, isn't it? You just add water to it yeah. and more icing sugar if you need it, don't you? So there's a, a lady here who loves your terminology, just like me. This <laughs> is going to fit well in this kitchen. What does she say here? I must have known. Just fung it in, that's it. Yeah, yeah, just fung it in. <laughs> See, that's a little bit too loose, so I'm just going to add a little bit more powder so that when we pipe it, it stays where it needs to stay. Yeah, Lola Fountain, fung it in and wing it. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's probably cringing. <laughs> Don't worry, we say far worse than it. This looks like it's too thick now, but it really isn't. So then I'm just going to add the black gel colour to that to darken it so it stands out. You're so good, all of you. You know what? They're answering the questions. Oh, so, okay. I, I love it when they type and answer the questions. Somebody said, what are you using? Look who's gone whipping it up. <laughs> if, you haven't, if you haven't yet used whipping it up, seriously, you're missing out. It's an amazing product. It's just like our flavoured icing sugar. It's absolutely delicious. And uh, it's just so easy to use. And if you're using it for my life, it lasts for ages as well. Somebody's asking what's on your brooch, Lisa. Oh, that's my Together We Rise brooch um, from Hannah the Cake Illusionist. And it's about supporting and empowering every, each other on our journey. That was Jackie McMinn who was asking. I think that's dark enough because it will mature as you're piping it and it dries as well. Oh, Karen Bree says, well done, Karen, on your recovery from yesterday. <laughs> Amazeballs. <laughs> <laughs> and um, my husband's just messaged and said, Lisa, can you just speak a little bit louder? Oh, OK. Sorry. <laughs> not, not what I normally get told in my house. <laughs> so in this bag, I've put a number two nozzle. Um to do the pipe work, quite a nice size. It went back easy enough with the pro gel there. Yeah, yeah. It? And it, it'll go at like, that's, this is the colour this was, and then when I piped in it dried, it went that dark, so. I think that's the thing people have to realise to wait, don't they? Yeah. They panic, don't they? They just, oh, it's great, it's great, because I find that when I do it, and then it is like a charcoal grey, and then before you know it's black. Just give it time to mature, develop is that's the word. It, develop. Yeah. Ah, Andrea, don't be scared. So Andrea says, I use the flaming icing sugar all the time, but for some reason I am afraid of the whipping it up, which is silly, I know. Don't worry, I'm scared of ganache. <laughs> <laughs> don't be frightened of the whipping it up, it's brilliant. So you've, you've mastered ganache now, Carol, haven't you? I don't know about that. 
Have you done two cakes? Mm -hmm. You've done yeah. two cakes. Well, listen, I'm putting myself in the barren line. I'm coming back next week and doing them all again. I'm doing a square one in chocolate, and then I'm coming back and I'm doing a round one. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, pipe on the outline of this picture, um, and then we'll use that as a template to imprint onto our icing. Right. I've also got a brush in water just so that when we join up the edges we can just dampen them down to get a nice smooth finish. I've not got my tongue out. Yeah, I'm concentrating. <laughs> I'm amazed you got all that round in a lovely round circle. I'm not sure I would have. But if it's off, you can just push it in with a damp brush. Right, and that one, because it's a bit of a splodge. Join it up with your brush. Do you think everybody was holding their breath? Then? <laughs> I was. <laughs> what you saying? <laughs> the reason I chose this picture because I really like the vibrant colours, and I oh, knew I that the gels would really pick up because they colour so easily. It's a beautiful picture, Lisa. And it's quite nice. A few people are saying they've got to shake hands, but it's quite nice what you've just said there. With a little damp brush, just push yeah, it into it just, place. Yeah, you can correct all manner of mistakes with a damp brush with white lighting. Maureen says, How steady are your hands? Oh. I think this is something I'd like to give a go. Yes, they've been holding their breath, and, it's, and Leslie Blackman says it's been thriving. Yes, everybody breathe, don't forget. <laughs> I don't want no passing out on my conscience. <laughs> Jane Morwood says, yes, like Tracy Mann says, and breathe. <laughs> Eleanor Wilson says, it's really pretty, Lisa. Oh, thank you. And Angela Bradbury just wants you to confirm, is that parchment paper on underneath the plastic plate? No, it's just, I just printed that off my printer. It's just um, normal paper. Yeah, and it's underneath the plate. Yeah, it's underneath the plate. So I'm piping directly on to the plate. Like this one so when you remove the paper you've got your template and they're asking have you ever actually done any broadcast before no so it's your your first one i did i did a very very short one for the children's center that i work for but it wasn't there was not that many people and it was not very good so yeah this is my first proper well you've got 324 people well watching it. <laughs> <laughs> so well done Can you imagine walking into a room and there's 320 people oh, watching it? <laughs> so I'm going to try and speed it up a little bit so that you don't get bored watching me do this. 
I think they're enjoying watching you actually. Oh, okay. Do you want to give them any top tips on how you guide your hands, you know, like how you're holding your hand a little bit of support? Um, yeah, I mean, I hold, I hold under my wrist, that helps, and I lean against the table so I've got double support. And the other thing is, don't have the piping tip too near the base, so just keep it off the base a little bit and let the ice in drop and as it follow it as it drops. So, like, I'll show you. I'm off a little bit. Not, not going to behave yourself now. So let, and then it sort of you guide it where you want it to drop. They're loving it that your nerves are not having an effect on your piping skills. <laughs> <laughs> my my uh, body temperature is. I am absolutely sweating. <laughs> don't you get hot? Don't you? <laughs> I get red hot here. And it's I've been cold kitchen. all day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you become on fire in here, don't you? <laughs> That's all your adrenaline. They're saying they're loving watching you. They're not getting bored. You oh. carry on piping it. Thank you. In fact, they're finding it fascinating, Helen Williams says. Uh, the nozzle size that Lisa was using is a number two round. I mean, you can go thinner and you, or you can go thicker, really. It just it depends on what effect you want, but I just found the two was just the perfect size to give yeah. that stained glass effect. Well, so many people are finding it very relaxing. Heather, Heather Williams says it's very calming. Rose Sheridan, Sheridan says this is fascinating to watch. They're all loving it. Thank you so much. And Lola, Lola Fountain says, Oh, Lisa, welcome to the kitchen. Congratulations on your first broadcast. Oh. We're a very friendly bunch here. Team winging it. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Lola. <laughs> now, I'm glad I came up early and got to sit in the kitchen when you were doing a live earlier. That helps. Yeah, massively. it does help, doesn't it? Yeah. So Debbie Hargreaves says, when she tries it with buttercream, she gets wiggly lines. Is it easier with royal icing? I think it's easier because you can, like I said, it looked like it was too thick in the bowl. So if it's too thick, then you've actually got it at the right consistency. So you, you've got to put a bit of pressure on to um, squeeze it out. And the other thing is, as well, if you make it 24 hours in advance, um, you find it's even, even better to pipe. But I do find pipe and boil icing you've got to have it really thick like to a point where you think you've you've got it too thick um yeah that's why so net lawson said her hands would be shaking knowing how many were watching <laughs> i'm just thinking there's only three of us in the kitchen yeah there's only, that's the way to think <laughs> the way to think <laughs> Uh, the nozzle that she's using today is a number two. It's a Wilton. The Wilton Gem and the Wilton Two are the same, same as the same as the PME. Gem actually owned PME or PME owned Gem. Thank you for liking and sharing to all your friends and not to any sugar and crumbs pages. We appreciate if you're going to do like and shares, please do like and shares, but not on Messenger. It's part of the reason I came off Messenger because I was just bombarded with like and shares. And uh, definitely not to the classes. Aslin McCormack from Ireland says it's very relaxing, Lisa. And Helen Miles says, what else can you use if you don't have a ganache plate? You can use acetate if you've got acetate mm -hmm. um, and then just put put the picture underneath the acetate and then you can stick the stick that onto a board um, so you've got a hard base to work on. But I use my ganache plate. If you do cakes, I use my ganache plates. I royal ice, uh, not royal ice, I buttercream on them, I fondant on them, everything. They're just, they're a permanent fixture in my kitchen. 
And the pictures that Lisa's got, you just go onto Google and choose the picture. Yeah. So you just go onto, go onto Google, choose the picture and print it up on an A4 sheet or whatever size you want to do it on whatever size cake you want. Geraldine Allen says, I'm loving it, but she was expecting a five-tier cake tonight. <laughs> I was, I'm saving that one for you, Geraldine. <laughs> Yeah, royal icing made with whipping it up is really very, very easy. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about storing as well. When you make royal icing, do not store it in the fridge. Put it into an airtight container, get a little bit of cling film and just sit it on top of the royal icing. You don't, you don't have to, but it, it's better if you do. Uh, just sit it on top, um, like you would with ganache, and then... Um, Keep it in an airtight container and you can you can have it for weeks, it's absolutely fine. Especially with the whipping it up because it's pasteurised um, egg white. And Maureen Bailey is apologising because she called you Angela. <laughs> Do you know anything about that? There right. you go, don't worry, don't worry Maureen, she didn't even know. <laughs> Free in the kitchen and three hundred friends cheering you on. <laughs> <laughs> it's so lovely that everybody's come out to support you. Which oh, is great. It's, it's yeah. brilliant, especially when like I sit and watch them at home and comment with everybody, and you know. Because once well. you've been in here, Lisa, and you've done tomorrow, you'll be begging to come back. Everybody loves coming up to the kitchen. They do. My um, my daughters are old and they're like they're eighteen or fourteen, and they said, "Mum." Why don't you go away for the weekend with Dad? So um, it might be something that I'll try and talk him into coming up here for the week. Oh, I'm sure that's a lovely one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's going to love a romantic weekend at Sharon Crumbs. I bet he'll be dead happy with that one. I'll be sitting there and going, uh, what? Yeah, so I that's... Really can't wait. That's, um, I finished piping that. Let that dry for a couple of hours or overnight if you can. Um... And then what I do is I'm going to do use this one in blue, true blue piece that I'll And that do you I'll need to pack down any ends or anything like that? There might be a couple at the end now. So that's just easy, just tapping yeah. them off with the yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Absolutely love it. Yeah, romantic weekends at Sugar and Crumbs, Crumbs my yeah. goodness. <laughs> well, he, he wants to walk the three peaks. Um, so he can go and do that. Oh, even more romantic. <laughs> yeah, <great. laughs> I bet he can't wait. Right, let's go and have a weekend away, love. I'm going sugar and crumbs and you're going walking the three peaks. Off you go. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ice my ball and then show you how that becomes that. And I can't wait. It looks beautiful, that Lisa. Really and that is. is quite that is quite quick and easy, and that's why I've got some patchwork cutters to go through as well with you. So Carolina says, when you're crossing from one section to another, are you going over the top of the piping you've already done? I try and join it up. So if if so, you're not going over. Are no. You? So it, where I've gone across there to there, I try and join up from in the inside it and then. You can see I've brushed it down to sort of blend it in rather than have too many. But once you imprint it, you can you're piping over those any areas anyway, so So Lola Fountain says, is it just water on the brush to tidy the lines? Yes. Yeah, just water and wiped off. And I've got to show you. I'm allowed to try out the new rolling <laughs> pin. Geraldine Allen. <laughs> so uh, uh, we've not tested the rolling pin. I've not tested it. And the guy keeps messaging me going, have you tested it? I'm thinking, he doesn't know what a day I've had with Ganache Kits here. Have I, have I tested the rolling pin? So before we came live, I just said to Lisa, oh, here you go. Test it. <laughs> just test, test it. it. <laughs> so if this comes out bad. I'm going to write a report. <laughs> 
So the reason we've had this, it's a 24 inch rolling pin and the reason we've had it done so big is to go with your big pink boards and grey boards. We can't get them made in pink before you ask because otherwise we would have had them. But it's a non-stick rolling pin so you're going to use a non-stick rolling pin on a non-stick board. Yeah, look at that. No, not a drop of icing sugar or corn flour. No, this is nice. Is it good? Yeah. Nice? yeah. It's I've got, got a I've really got nice it. weight behind it, but it's yeah. not too heavy. I just know my operations manager, James, is thinking how the hell is he going to post these out? <laughs> <laughs> and a tube. That's what I was saying, can you not get those poster tubes? Pardon? The yeah. poster tubes. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. yeah. yeah. It's when people order, when people order, it's super, you have to pay two, ship, we yeah, have to pay two yeah. shipping charges. So if you get two parcels, we've paid double the shipping. Just so you need the bigger board, don't you? Bigger drum. No, I think this one fits on now. I'm going to use the bigger drum for the... Yeah. You're in danger, so right to the edge. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, she's not been in the kitchen half an hour, has she? <laughs> <laughs> seen you go right up to the top of them, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Right up to the edge of the board. Absolutely. <laughs> you can't wait to see you transfer it onto the uh, board. So just imagine that this drum now is the top of your cake. Yeah. Okay. So that's the idea. Uh, can you use this royal icing for biscuits? Uh, if so, would it be would it set hard? Yes. Yeah, because this this is um, this is hard. You'll see how hard it is when I press it on this. I've never seen anybody trim a board with a smoother before. Oh, I do it all the time. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another new skill, girls. Another new skill. Because it goes, you're going to put ribbon around it, so. Yeah. There we go. So Amanda Casey said, I turned in for the first time. Yes, I tuned in for the first time yesterday, Carol. I saw your meltdown. <laughs> well done, first time you saw us. So proud how you never gave up and carried on. This just shows you are a human being and things can go wrong, but it all turned out amazing in the end. Well done for not giving up. See, and look how good it came out. Yeah. I must admit, I was telling John, and John said, why don't you just cut the live? And I went, no, I can't cut the live, you've just got to carry on. Anyhow, let's watch this. So I've Show must go on, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. I've placed this on top of the board the fondant whatever and then I'm just going to rub it down with a smoother and that will imprint the royal icing or you can go over with your rolling pin you want a nice firm <laughs> it stayed on that wasn't meant to happen is that not normal <laughs> no it's because it's been on this for Probably two weeks, that's why. Yeah. So we just saved yourself a job. Yeah, there. I haven't got to repipe it now. But what I would normally do, a lot I do, is I'll take some off and show you. <laughs> See? So it's not supposed to stay on, ladies. No. It's supposed to just imprint in. Yeah, it's meant to imprint in, but because it's been on that board for... Because I did a trial run. Yeah, but I like the idea it stayed on. Yeah, but that's what's meant to happen, is you get that groove. And then you just pipe into that. So, which literally, they love it. Fabulous! They're all going to try it. I, I, do you know what? I've got to be honest. I want to try it myself. <laughs> Debbie Argrew says she wants a weekend away. She needs her husband to be playing it at Burnley or Man City and then she, he can drop her off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Harl Harlem Horses, Emma says, I need the new rolling pin. We can't get a pink rolling pin. The material, he has tried it for pink because I've asked him, please do me pink. And he's tried it and it's just not binding together.
So once I, re once I report to him tomorrow that we're happy with it, he'll start getting them made next week. I'm not sure on the price yet, but hopefully he'll have them. Yes, Nikki King, no, I've never had a 24 inch black one either. <laughs> I'm going to put Christine that. Robbins, ooh, that's the big one. <laughs> to one side, and then I'm just going to show you using the patchwork cutters again. If you've got these at home, different styles. So I'm going to ice this board. <laughs> Alan Moore says, imagine what the postman will think when he's delivering these. <laughs> about where to purchase the non-stick boards that would be great and if you just let know what, what sizes the boards are because I can't type them in the feed is going so fast I actually just can't type anything in the rolling pin is not on sale yet I hope to have it on sale by the back end of next week so don't worry about your orders do this week's orders and then next week you can look forward to your rolling pins I'm just really pleased. It feels nice though, doesn't oh, it? it does. I haven't tried it. So I haven't tried it at all. It's been sat. I think it's been sat here for about three I've got days. Got something time. similar at home, white, but you yeah. it sticks. So yeah. you need icing sugar. Well, to be fair, he's the man who makes the white ones. Oh really? Yeah. But the white ones aren't non stick. No, my no. one isn't. Yeah, he's he's the same man who makes them. Carol, Gass Carol Gassenby. What I want, what I want to say won't sound right. Laugh out loud. I have never seen a black one. <laughs> <laughs> rolling pin. I'm glad you actually added that. <laughs> <laughs> So how long do you leave the icing to dry before you? A cup. I would. I would leave that a couple of about. I mean, it's nearly dry now. That's how good that is. It's just. I could probably, but you need it to really set underneath as well, because yeah. otherwise, when you put it on, it'll just squash. It, it won't it make the top dry at the moment. Yeah, it won't make the imprint. Oh, that's nice, lovely green. Carol, you're a super caker star. That's why you don't cut alive. Nope. Believe me, there's many a times I've wanted to cut the live, <laughs> but I haven't. So Linda Miles says, wouldn't it be easier to leave it on, saving piping it twice? I think if it goes on, do, do yeah, it, it doesn't on. normally go on. I can just before the end of this live, I can quickly show you how that will imprint. It will stay on the um, ganache plate, it doesn't actually transfer on. Irish just a lot of it, their fingers are itching to have a go. <laughs> I've got to be honest with you, Iris, I'm dying to have a go myself. <laughs> so, I'm going to uh, use the big sunflower PME. No, not PME, sorry. Patchwork cutters. And this is what, this is how this would work. And then you've got your imprint. You did very well getting that out of there because I didn't see you put any grease on it. <laughs> <laughs> try again, let's try it, push my luck. <laughs> kitchen Simon look at her now uh, hey uh, Marie says Lisa has such a lovely manner you would be a great teacher oh thank very cute cool, isn't she oh. uh, the patterns just go on to Google uh, I mean Lisa Bobe would probably tell you where she got these where did you get the patterns from? I just put in stained glass um, window and came up with that this one I just done children's uh, colouring in butterfly. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, put it in just, Yeah. 
So Natalie, don't worry, just come back and watch the live later. It's on YouTube, you can see it all again. And that's what would happen with that one. So you get that nice imprint. And then I'll just pipe a little bit of these and then we'll go on to putting a gel into that one. It's just like tracing really, you just literally follow the lines. Geraldine Allen said, did you remember to put scissors for Gerald Simon's beard? He's actually in control of his beard this week, it's still looking alright. Yes Geraldine, I've heard about your little <laughs> bribe. Or... So just remember, the rolling pins are not on the website yet. They will be by the end of next week. Right, the feed's going really very fast. So if I'm missing out, I am really sorry. So uh, Sandra, um, Elsie, says she's Googled and there's loads. So she's just had a little Google because I think everybody is going to be dying to make these, Lisa. They just look so effective and just something a little bit different. And uh, Susan Harmon, so, uh, Susan Hannam, me Norman, says I have some large print colouring books that would be perfect for this. There you go. And I agree with you, Liz Elizabeth Leppin Moss. Roll on Christmas, what a great way of decorating the Christmas yes. day. Yes. Perfect, yeah. isn't it? So um, Lisa is now using the patchwork cutters. Now patchwork cutters have brought out some new um, cutters and they're called Pretty Big. And this is their Pretty Big um, Sunflower. So Lisa hasn't used this one before. I dropped it on her just before we went live. <laughs> so as you can see, she's got a sunflower in the hair and I said, mm, I've got something for you to use. So uh, I think this sunflower is gonna come out amazing. Um, the demo days, by the way, Marion Frost is on from Patchwork Cutters, um, is doing loads of demos. Uh, she's in on the 26th of June for that demo day, and she said, Carol, I am going to show them loads. So she's absolutely on form. She's not been out for over a year, so I think you're going to get a year's worth of work in two hours. <laughs> she's dying to see people. Are the black moulds available on SNC? Oh, you mean the cutters? Yes, patchwork cutters they are. So this one that we're using here now is the Pretty Big Sunflower. It comes with quite a few in the uh, few bits. Yeah, you get quite a few in, yeah. Um, so you get sunflower in there, the leaves. Oh, you've got a compliment here, Simon. Jackie McMinn says, I thought Simon looked very tidy this afternoon. Yes, because they saw you, didn't they? Yes. I do say it was nice to see me this afternoon. Yes, yeah. Oh, and Jill. I should do a live again. Yes, Jill's your top fan, isn't she? <laughs> uh, Samantha Seeley said, would you normally use a smaller nozzle for the sunflowers in and layers? Or are you going to stick with your number two? I'm going to stick with my number two, I think, because the time you put the gel in, it'll actually, um, the gel really, really holds the colour really strongly, and so it'll, it'll, um, look fine. I've got a laugh with Sandra, she says everyone's going to be rushing out buying big colouring books now. <laughs> <laughs> and I agree with you Mandy Harvey, I bet daffodils would look amazing. Yeah. Uh, what other colours do we do for the rolling pins? We don't do any colours actually, we've, we've actually never had them in any colours at all. I didn't want to stock the white ones and I asked the gentleman who makes my pink boards for me, could he make me a pink rolling pin? And um, he's really struggled with that, but he's come up with the dark grey one to go with the grey boards. So he has tried, he has said it's really, really tried, but it's just not bonding together. But the grey boards, the grey ones are. 
So anybody who doesn't know about these uh, grey boards and pink boards, we're using pink boards tonight, but we have them in a lovely grey as well. Um, they are non-stick boards, they're sugar craft boards, and they're perfect for putting sugar paste on without having to use icing sugar or corn flour. Um, I do have a rule that nobody's allowed to chop or cut on my boards, but you can do. And if you're going to cut on them, use one side for cutting and one side for rolling out. It basically comes with a film on it, and then that film, you just wipe it with a damp cloth, and then once a month, you lovingly rub some Trex in. That's Karen's job. She just rubs a tiny little bit of Trex into the board or a tiny little drop of olive oil, just like you would on a wok. When you season the wok, you just put a little bit in, just massage it in. Uh, the glass plates are called ganache plates and they are for sale on our website. So if you go to our website, go to equipment and scroll down for ganache plates, they're on sale there. They love the sunflower. And Lisa, Carol Debrooks White said, Lisa, you're making her feel really very calm. Oh. Lots of people have said that. Maria Constable says, she, well, I think she's got a, a typos in. We think you're great, Simon. I think she means think. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> I hope so too. <laughs> So Carol, you've got it wrong. No, you don't do all that work and sit a cake on top of it. You put this on top of the cake. So if you imagine this as being a real cake, so you can go to real cake, do this on top of your normal real cake, or you could do it on a drum and then just sit this on top of your real cake. And then when you come to cut it up, you take it off. And all you would do is go around the drum with like a little bit of ribbon. So it's up to you. So no, you don't sit your cake on this. Yeah, I normally do it straight onto a real cake. So Lisa was going to do it on real cake tonight, but I just said to her that for ease and because she's in the sugar and crumbs kitchen, just so she didn't have to be up a little bit higher, and the thing is that I would suspect you might have to lean over a little bit more. I said it might be better if she just did it on a cake drum. I mean, I suppose if you wanted to use a bigger board, you could actually do it around the edges of the board and sit yeah, in the middle. Yeah, yeah. And if you buy the catch patchwork cutters sets, they generally have lots of little cutters in as yeah. well. So you do that. That's looking good, isn't it? Alison Hodgson said it's mesmerising. They all love it. They all think it's mesmerising mm. to watch. Helen Mar says it's very effective with the black on the white. Yeah, when I'd done a cake at home with it, before I filled it in, my daughter went, oh, that looks really good, Mum, just as a print like this. Well, Caroline Keel says, I'm dropping off to sleep here. It's so relaxing. <laughs> I'm not sure of this question. Claire, Claire Louise Bar Burrell. Hi ladies, what is the difference with your pins and the white fondant pins? Are they not are they not non-stick or so? The white oh, the rolling pins maybe. Yeah. Ah, pins, right, rolling okay. Pins, yeah. yeah, no, the white the white rolling pins are not non-stick. So we'll be getting the black ones in next week. And I do agree, lots of you are all laughing about what the postie is going to think as he's delivering them, even though the app will be in a long extra tube. With a sticker saying, I'm in a relationship with sugar and crumbs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Angela Grabo <laughs> says, all of us that have done the Tracy Man Royal Icing course will be loving this, and they will. Yeah. It's only going to get better. Look at this. You're all loving this so far. Wait till she comes to colour this in. Which is going to be very soon. Yeah, which is very soon. They're saying it's hypnotic. What jet is Lisa using? I'm not sure, Mary. What jet is number Lisa? Number two. Isn't it? Is this a number two? Yeah, it's a number two tip. Yes, it's a number two tip. 
She said, what jet? I thought we were flying somewhere then. Nah. <laughs> You've driven, haven't you? Yeah, I drove. There we go. Fantastic. Geraldine Allen said you're smashing it, lovely. No, thank you. Gel. Oh, gel. <laughs> oh, I'm going, going to be using, using piping gel. I've got that. So I'm just going to take Wait till we get there. Okay. It's very hot in this kitchen. Now you know, don't you? It actually isn't hot. I'm actually cold sat here. Oh, really? Yeah. I've been cold all day, but I'm <laughs> sweltering now. <laughs> It's the, the pressure, isn't it? <laughs> right. Move this out of Yes, I agree. Using a tilted turntable would help. What do you think? The gel, uh, maybe for oh. the royal icing, but the gel, gel. is yeah, it can that. be a little bit runny, so yeah. it, it. Don't do that. Yeah. Good thinking, Batman. Right. Mandy Harvey said she was going to get a crocheting out and do it while while the live was on, but she can't take her eyes off. Oh, actually. thank so you. That's nice, isn't it? So I'm going to use PME piping gel that Carol has. But you can use this for a lot of things. People use oh, it yeah. for um, just glue. Up to the overhead. Yeah. Yeah, you can make it for your waterfalls. Up there, yeah, up there, up there, if you've got like water. a swimming pool or a pond cake, you yeah. can just dye it with that. Um, people paint it on the side of their cakes to add um, sprinkles, sprinkles and sequins off, and yeah. things like that. So people use it to uh, paint it onto their boards before they put the sugar paste on. Oh really? I never, I never. I just wet it with water. I normally wet my hands. Mm. <laughs> right. And it literally is. I just want to go to a clear gel wait it says on the tin <laughs> mm. uh, can you use colour splash to colour yes that's what I'm going to be what am I using that one? Using no, no. Oh. what have we got in here oh they're all project. where's your oh right okay colour splash in the cupboard there we should put sunflower on that in that one yeah this one yep Ah, right, yes, Claire, uh, Claire, no, the white roller pins are not non-stick, just the new black ones. And Sue Mellon can't believe how fast you typed it, Lisa. Oh, thank you, I thought it was taking ages. No, you're not, you're, you're flying through this. Right, I'm going to come back to this one. And we'll start off with the red. You don't have to, you can have any colour you like. Jackie Sizer says her husband, her husband would be concerned if one of those rolling bins turned up. <laughs> I'm actually going to start off with sunflower and paint the yellow flower and then we'll go straight on to the sunflower as well. Oh, that one's not open. Oh, just open it. No, it's ours. A little bit more gel. What does it taste like? Um, if you're talking about the black icing, um, the black whipping it up, it tastes delicious. The piping gel doesn't really taste of anything, yeah, but because it's on top of your cake with sugar paste, you wouldn't know. It really takes the colour really easily. <laughs> and Shula Grabo says she lives alone, she thinks her postie would crack up. You are all rude, you know. We're talking about a we're talking about a rolling pin here. I just Does the piping need to be raised to show the shower. Yeah, so it is raised. You're only going to pipe this on really thinly anyway. But I used a tiny drop um, in that, um, and look the colour. It's coming up straight away. Splash and Pro Gel. Two different companies. I all. just, I what I like about Color Splash myself is the thin tip. Yeah. That's why I like using them because you can control it a little bit more because you only need tiny, tiny amount. 
and we really should be the tips after using them. But because we end up, having, well, because our last we used with students and stuff, Karen and I are still getting through them. And then we just then we do lives ourselves, and we just get too busy doing the live. We just shove the tip back on. rolling pin to a certain place. I have no idea. What do you think? Has anybody got that? You're going to have to, you're gonna have to where have you got it? Don't bring that up again. <laughs> <laughs> Does the gel dry hard like raw icing? No, it stays sticky. Right. I just need to go and wash my hands. I just I don't know what conversation's gone here, but Rory says, Tanya Herbert, don't ask that question. She just gets them out and strokes them lovingly. I'm not quite sure what we're stroking. <laughs> alive now. Just literally talking about. Karen Nail has just mentioned it. She's, what's she like? <laughs> I can't believe you've forgotten about it. Well, I don't have a freaking filthy man like these lot. <laughs> believe it or not, I really don't. <laughs> I've just told my hubby I need a, I need a black 24 inch <laughs> <laughs> a rampant roller <laughs> goodness me my husband would be like so this is why you watch this every week <laughs> so I'm always sitting with me earphones in while he's watching telly I wonder what husbands must think because so many of you sit there with your earphones in just laughing and then suddenly you all start singing happy birthday as well <laughs> <laughs> do you sit home sing happy birthday? No, I don't do, do, that, do that, no. Because <laughs> I would do that. How many people sit there, when we sing happy birthday to anyone, how many people sing out at home? <laughs> I like that. Vicky Leaker said this would look amazing on a Beauty and the Beast themed yeah. cake. ones I was painting yellow. I'd have to have it with the paint with numbers. Uh, 
oh, you're looking at your yeah. finger, aren't you? Oh, good girl. I was just thinking, I forgot all about that bit there. Bill Griffin, I was innocent before joining this group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jackie Adams sings. Helen Williams always sings. And then Woodward said it would be rude not to. Pat F sings. Karen says, Karen McLeff says, not me because they think I'm crazy. <laughs> Were you watching the right group then? <laughs> Harlan also says she doesn't um, because her husband doesn't take any notice. He still asks if she's watching Cookie and Crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody sang it to you this year, but uh, Mandy. Oh, did we not know about your birthday? Sue Mary sings and it sends her dog crazy. And Nikki King says she sings totally out of tune. And the dogs run. I'm just going to put that down and then I'm going to bring the sunflower in. Says, could you do a jelly so it goes firm? I mean, there there are. Um, if you go on like YouTube and that, there is to make your own um, piping gel, and some use gelatine, some use corn flour. Um, I've only ever used the bulk stuff. I've never. I did try and make some but it didn't turn out very well because I was trying to get it to go on the side of a cake. But, um, well I tried to make jelly as well, so I put loads of gelatine, so me and Jane McDougall had a little chat about, you know those um, spatulas that you push into the gelatine and then you squeeze chip colour into them? So um, Jane said I'd had thought about it and I said oh yeah, so we, anyway we both went off, rushed off to Amazon, bought a set each, bought our gelatine. And I have not yet managed to get clear gelatine. Oh really? Yeah. It 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 just keeps going off discolouring. Um. So Stephanie, uh, Stephanie Laxon says, I've always wondered if piping gel dissolves royal icing. She's got her answer here. No, it doesn't. No, because that's been done for well over a week now. Uh huh. Debbie Harbreeve sings. Julie Morley says, I'm locked in my room in isolation for 10 days and you ladies are keeping me sane. We we'll hope you feel better soon. <laughs> Kit Curran says, my dog is six months and as soon as she starts singing, she starts crying. Geraldine Allen says it's her birthday. Mm. I don't think so. Are we going to sing to her? Mm. No. No. Nope. <laughs> Nicky King says, really, Pinocchio. So Carol Tucker says, does it harden or does it stay sticky? It stays sticky. Uh, I've got a drink here. So while Lisa's is just piping this in, I just want to remind you ladies, got a really busy week next week. So Rachel Hannah is back in the classroom on Monday. So all of you did her introduction to wedding cakes. If you want to come and do her introduction to show you how to do a free tier wedding cake with sugar paste, and she's doing shaped cakes as well, even in hexagon. So she's, at the, I'm almost sure she's doing a square, a hexagon and round cakes on how to sugar paste them properly. And I think she's doing panelling as well. So she's doing lots of things with, sh with sugar paste and, and marbling onto cakes as well. So definitely, um, if you wanted to get on that class, it's available, it's on the website. And that is Monday. And then on Friday, we've got Doe Griffin back in the kitchen. Um, and she will be doing, we can't see them, but she's doing a animals and baby theme models uh, for the summer. So they're looking good. And then my buttercream flowers is on on Tuesday, and on Tuesday 
we are painting flowers with spoons, spoons and palette knives and we'll be using a Dresden tool and a few other little bits and bobs. So Debbie Hargreaves, Mandy Harvey, I did try Mandy but the feed was going so fast no one read it. What have we missed Debbie? Can someone tell me? Because I've missed it as well. <laughs> Jackie Sousa says her husband's half deaf so when she sings her husband comes out in the lounge and I said, says did you call me? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Rose Sheridan says, if you had CMC, which is Tylo, uh, would that make it harder? I haven't tried it. No. I wouldn't think so. I think it would probably discolour it a little bit, actually. I think so, yeah. So, how long would you leave the piping gel to set? It doesn't set, it doesn't set I don't know. It, it firms oh, up. It firms up. I mean, this has been over a week now. But it's still tacky. It doesn't. It stays. Yeah. Let's have a little feel. Well, actually, do you know what? I don't think that feels tacky actually. It feels really nice though. Yeah, and it's not smudging or anything, is no. it? No. Could you put it in the fridge on a cake? I don't know. I've never tried to oh. give it a go. Oh. Well, this is a week old, and I'm just I'm touching it. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel tacky to me, and it's not moving at all. No. Yes. Love this shelter. I know you'll do a great job. So I'm just going to go to the overhead, Simon, just to show it how little colouring you need. Just it is just the tiniest dot. So it's Pauline Zane's birthday tomorrow, and I'm not here doing the live tomorrow. So we're ready, girls. Oh, happy, birthday birthday happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Lisa. Who is it? Who is Pauline? Pauline. Pauline. Happy birthday to you. Oh, we're sorry, Pauline. Sorry, Pauline. Do you know what it was? It's because Simon put the camera on Lisa. I knew she was going to flush. Did you give me a note? Because you've got to sing live. So, happy birthday, Pauline, saying sorry about that. So that blue, I mean, so if you're doing um, like a swimming pool or a pond or something like that, that's absolutely perfect for that. Um, Karen Naylor looks after the classes and said, quite a few of you have bought the class for Monday, but you haven't joined the Facebook group yet. So you do need to go along and join the Facebook group. And Hannah prefers you, she'll tell you everything on the day. I know I've not set the guides up yet. But she prefers you not to do it with her. She really wants you to Rachel. sort of... Rachel. I know, I've done it again, haven't I? So Rachel Hannah prefers you to watch on the day, study what she's doing, absorb what's going on, and ask questions, and then go and do it. And then you can go back to live at your leisure and pick the bits that you want. So make sure you join the class for Monday. So Jenny Moore says, how would you store it, Lisa, if you wanted to keep it um, if you wanted to keep it from a cake? How would you store it if you wanted to keep it from a cake? This I've just I've had in um, this one that I done last week, I've just had in a lid of a cake box covered in foil. Yeah. That's all right. Well, that's 
Oh, I see Mandy. So Mandy's birthday was the same day as Debbie Hargreaves, which was the 31st of March. But we sang in the Cupcake Bouquet group to Debbie and missed out on Mandy. Oh, I'm really sorry, Mandy. Have we got to go again now? Oh, Happy please. birthday <laughs> to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mandy. Mandy. Happy birthday to you. Right, we're not doing any more now. <laughs> oh. I was about to say happy birthday related oh, wishes. I love the way that um, Lisa just kept on piping there. Yeah, I, was on. Singing. I was trying to distract my, my, from my singing voice because it's not great. And, and, or maybe you were just trying to make sure that I wasn't, I was kept on the, uh, where, where the piping was and yeah. not on you. Yeah. <laughs> Method in my madness. So Maureen says she's just googled how to make gel harden and it says it doesn't ever. There you go. Yeah. But I should imagine if we stuck our finger in there it would go in. But it is nice though on the cake. So. I didn't know it even set like that to be honest. Did you not? No, because no, I normally do it, it and then give the cake or... I used to do this a lot for my children when they were little, like Disney characters and things like that. Um, so this is a good one. Sue Mary says, what about uh, glaze sprays? Glaze, glaze sprays. Let's get it out, right. Sue Mary says, what about glaze spray over the top? Yeah, that might work. I think that could work, could not it? Do you know what, we'll have a go at this one. Yeah. So Shelper really likes the effect. Andrew Lucas thinks it's amazing. What else could you use instead of piping gel? Oh, what else would you use piping gel for? That's what she's saying. Jackie Adams says, five tubs of piping gel to go on my next order. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you're all going to be addicted to this. I think you're all going to come up to some great ideas. Got to try. So it's the PME piping gel. It's in stock. And I, I reckon that you're going to love it. I think what I would like to do is, I think I'd like to do maybe a 12 inch board with a cake on it, with a cake sort of set back and a nice, nice pattern. Yeah. That's what I think I would like to do. Just trying to work out where. Really. Oh, she's very happy, Pauline. So happy birthday. It's a gorgeous blue. I'm afraid we really can't do any more happy oh, birthdays today, Wonder can we, Carol? Did you? Oh, no. What? I got the Wonder uh, Dust blue out for her. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry. I just used um, Colour Splash Blue. Colour Splash Blue. They are really vibrant, you know, the yeah. Colour Splash. I mean, Kim Firth was it. I've been using Colour Splash since it was launched. And I've always used it at all my demos, everywhere I go, I use it. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Fractal or Pro Gel. Everybody has their favourites. And to be fair, I think they're all excellent, if I'm really honest. But um, Colour Splash is quite a good price point, And uh, the colours are always very good. Helen Mar said she always wondered how piping gel is used. Well, now you know. You're going to be doing these, Helen Miles. I tell you, you're all going to be addicted. Because it's quite... Oh, I think it's quite easy. It's quite easy, but really effective. So, when you do it on top of a cake, it looks pretty good. So, Pat, Carol, when will Fractal's your blue be back in stock? I've got to be honest, I've got to place an order with Fractal, and I will send myself a message to remind myself. Oh, I didn't see, um, didn't see the rest of John's text message when he asked for Lisa to speak up. He said, everyone's used to you and Carol. <laughs> you and Karen. They've only got their volume on two. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're so loud. <laughs> Thanks, John. I'm just sending myself an email. Green next. I'm going to use the pistachio. So 
So you couldn't use it on the side of the cake, could you? No, I, I, I did try. And then we ended up eating the cake. <laughs> birthday to tomorrow so uh, we're calling me Jesus for her birthday with her little grandson's first birthday Aww. how lovely is that so if everybody wants to send Lee some birthday wishes we're not singing again but happy birthday Lee uh, Amy Smith says it's her husband Matthew's birthday today his husband's what? Matthew his husband Matthew's his birthday Oh, her husband who's was called Matthew, it's his birthday it's today. It's his birthday, she would like a sing song, but we're not doing it anymore. <laughs> oh, no, please don't. <laughs> well, happy birthday, Matthew. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I will not get us back into the kitchen if I sing again. <laughs> I was laughing with some with uh, the girls the other week. We go to, uh, when lockdown was not on, there's a Chinese up the road that we go to, and uh, everybody... It goes on all night. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! It's, it's like I remember there having having a meal one night. I thought I can't come in here again. <laughs> I can't get a sentence out without another happy birthday. Can you flavour the piping gel? Can't see, can't see why not. not. Lisa's coloured the piping gel, she's using the colour splash range, so she's used the blue, the pistachio green and the sunflower, sunflower yellow. And it is just a small, I mean obviously if you want it darker, I can't remember what I used on that one. Um, if you used isomol, you would, it's too hot isomol, it'll burn your sugar paste, that's the first thing. And uh, no, I would definitely say don't use isomol because you have to get it really, really very hot. And as soon as you put it on a sugar base, that's it, your sugar base yeah. is melted. And it will set immediately into a blob. Plus, you wouldn't be able to cut through your cake. No, in that class. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Would this work on the side of the cake or just on the top? It's only on the top. I, yeah. I tried on the side and it just dripped off. It dripped off. Even now, I piped it really thinly within the um, royal icing lines. It's just run out over the top of those. Um, I'm not responding in on um, whoever's responding is sugar and crumbs with nifty nozzles. I think it's probably Karen Griffiths. It's not me because I'm just speaking out comments. I'm not typing anything. Debbie Arabies has just said, sugar and crumbs with nifty nozzles. Is that you, Karen Griffiths? <laughs> Karen logs in sometimes and ends up logging in as us. Oh. Yeah, so Angela Grabbo said she did a swimming pool once with people sitting around it and filled the pool up with blue piping gel. What, the actual swimming pool? <laughs> On a cake. Oh, <laughs> Great for logos, yes, I think it would be nice for logos, yeah. wouldn't it? Karen Ames said, I did a lady in a bath and a, a bath and a golf course with a water feature using piping gel. Geraldine Allen said, if there's a rush on piping gel and Carol sells out, she has some there. <laughs> in the shop in Kent. <laughs> Can you put two colours in the same bit to make it look like shading? That's a good question. I can't 
can try that next. Yeah, very good. Amanda Hatton, yes, we think if you put, well, yes, it will. If you put it on the side of a cake, it will just run down yeah. the cake. It's Tracy Mann answering the sugar and crumbs. Oh, is it Tracy Mann answering the sugar and crumbs? <laughs> oh, no, not Tracy Mann doing white icing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Karen says. Anyway. Right. <laughs> a new idea for flood filling with whipping it up. I think you're going to love all this. I think you're going to be doing this a lot. I think it's. Um, I've lost you. I think it's. Um, I think you're going to be coming up with some very creative designs, all of you. And I think with the coloured gels, it just looks so bright and vibrant. So I think you're going to love it. I mean, I've got to be honest. I really can't wait to have a play myself. I'm on it. All bit. I'm meant to be practicing palette painting this week. <laughs> Class on Tuesday. Apparently you can add piping gel to buttercream and it makes some sort of consistency I was reading but I didn't read no further than that what it actually does. Oh right. Well can you find out? Let me know. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can mix the two together. Oh, all right. Trisha Linda Neal. She's just got some new earring aids and she wrote to me last week to say how she's got them. I've got my hearing aids back in as well. She's told me that she did how much she'd missed out what she can hear. So her new hearing aids are fab. You're straight into my ears from my phone. Yes, I have mine into mine from my phone. It's really funny Terry's having to get you because I've not worn hearing aids since Terry's been with us. Oh. I suddenly start and I've put them in this week. I've suddenly started talking. She starts answering. Thinking <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to her. <laughs> Now, this is the one I'm going to be waiting. Um, I've ordered mini turntables tonight. So I'm wondering if you can use this for flooding letters. Of course. Um, of course you can. So is any ladies here who live in Cornwall, by the way? because I am having a little meet up in Cornwall. I'm going away for a week um, and I am doing a demonstration day on, I'm doing a demonstration for the British Sugarcraft Guild. So I've got two ladies coming over to visit me that day and watch the demonstration in the, um, in the new Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, which will be the rented place that I'm in. <laughs> so if anybody else wants to join, free it's the 8th of May Saturday if you are in um, Cornwall feel free to come over and join us and have a coffee and watch the demonstration have you got red I might have red you might have to use the pro red I think I think I used the last of the Christmas red on the last on the last um, buttercream flowers class you know when we did the David Austin Rose yeah. do you remember I ran out didn't I I just remember um, Send, it, send yourself on my attached email. Bring in Christmas red. Why is Linda Miles squinting? Not quite sure what's going on in that conversation. Then you're mixing in that bowl. Oh. <laughs> so the last time Kit Curran used isomol, it blew up her microwave. You put it in for far too long. You're meant to put it in for ten second bursts. Ask my daughter about you don't throw it in and leave it in. <laughs> So, so 
it's not Karen Griffiths answering his sugar and crumbs. Sometimes it's Tracy, it's me, I'm watching the painting. So sometimes it's Tracy, it's me. So does that mean it's Tracy, ma'am? Or is John responding? <laughs> sugar and crumbs. <laughs> Freaking hell, we've got to find out who's answering his sugar and crumbs. I could find lots of things sugar and crumbs just to Yeah, you could, everything. yeah. <laughs> Karen Griffith says, this is amazing, Lisa. Oh, thank you. And Lisa Mao says she used uh, piping gel on her KFC cake uh, and the baked beans and the gravy dripping looked very effective. Oh. I haven't actually used it for a long time. I've used it for like, when I've done gulping cakes and you do a little pond or something but as I say when my two were little I used to do it all the time don't forget to speak up oh sorry yeah I was saying when my two were little I used to do it all the time I haven't used it a lot recently I only really use it if I'm doing a golfing cake or something like that that needs a water pond or something like that in it but when Carol was talking about it I was like oh So Caller call Salmon said, could you use whipping it up for flood filling and it would say it hardens? Absolutely, yeah. yes yeah. you can. The thing with the piping gel, so it, yes, of course you can use whipping it up for the flood filling. So you do exactly the same and then you make a, a looser version of the, of the whipping it up for flooding. The only thing is it will dry matte, so you would definitely have to use the spray glaze or the, or the shine to um, spray over it to give it a shine. Where is this, the piping gel? Look at it, it's just so beautiful and vibrant, isn't it? Oh, right, yeah, I'll see Mary. Adding a small amount of piping gel to buttercream that's about to crust will help make the frosting smoother and will keep it from crusting as much as much or as quickly as it would otherwise. Oh, the go. trick is especially handy when you're piping intricate, intricate patterns or buttercream flowers. Go on, well yeah. done, Sue Mary. I knew I'd read something about piping gel and buttercream. Mm, I never knew that. So Mandy Harvey, would Wonder Dust work uh, work mixed with the piping gel? Yes, it does. So I'm going to do so that next. I think, do you know, why don't you do a gold one then? Or should we do that blue? So our Wonder Dust as, uh, is on its way. should be here soon. We've had a notification that it's been manufactured and it's been dispatched. I think it was dispatched yesterday. So hopefully it should be here in the next uh, 10 days. Oh, news on Molly, on Molly Robbins. The uh, moulds have cleared customs. So the babies will be in Molly's studio next week. She's going to spend next week packing them. And she is coming in on Wednesday. We're doing a live on Wednesday, the 21st of April with Molly. Now that's going to be a good week there as well. We've got Karen Davis. No, Karen Davis is in on the 26th. So, uh, of uh, April to do a live. So on the 21st of April, girls, a Wednesday night live. And the reason we've got her in on a Wednesday is because I am going to see my ninth grandbaby for the first time Aww. on the uh, 21st of April. So I'm travelling down to see her. That's the same day. Sorry, 22nd. Which happens to be my youngest child's birthday as well. My youngest child will be 36, bless him. So um, it'll be the first time I'll have seen the baby. So don't worry, while I'm away for the week, Karen Griffiths is doing all the lives. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for leaving me in three years tomorrow. She does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, she does now. Lisa, you could come back up that week. Yeah, get, and get, help Karen out. Get the week off with my boss. Okay. So, uh, yes, so I am meeting up with Nikki King in Cornwall. 
So I'm meeting up with her and a lady called Leslie Relic, who just happens to be, has the same name of the resort I'm going to. Yeah, that's just... I never Is it her resort? Eh? Well, <laughs> she hasn't mentioned that. She emailed me to offer us her studio so that I could do the live for the British Sugar Craft Girl, but I'm actually going to do it from where we are. So uh, I'm very pleased. So both those ladies are going to come and see me on Cornwall and watch the demonstration, which is brilliant. Now, I've met Nikki King a long time ago. And Geraldine Allen says I'm going. <laughs> are, you going drive, are you going to drive from the, on the coast road then, there, Geraldine? Come along and see us. I don't know if that shows up. It shows up very well, yeah. I've added the blue wonder dust yeah. and it's just got such a lovely shimmer to it. Yeah, that looks lovely, doesn't it? I've got that last flower in that one. You can see it, you know, look, look, it looks like it's pearl, doesn't it? Yeah. Geraldine Allen says, look for the woman running around in a onesie. <laughs> Oh, is it Nikki King that's the onesie lady then? Yeah. Oh. She's been in the onesie for a year now. <laughs> so she's going to come and see me in Cornwall. Oh. oh great. So if anybody is in Cornwall, I, uh, you're in debt, right. So Deirdre Moore is in Devon. So I'm going to put on like a little afternoon tea at the place that I'm at. So I'm going to be doing a demonstration on the 8th of May for the British Sugar Craft Guild. And uh, I was meant to be doing it here, but then I've gone and booked this holiday, completely forgetting about them. That blue is gorgeous. Completely forgetting about them. So I'm going to have to do the live from where I am there, which will be fun. So Nikki King's coming along and Leslie Relic is coming along. And if anybody else is in the Cornwall area, you're more than welcome. This is brilliant, isn't it? It's so therapeutic, isn't it? Yeah. So Vicky Pine says as well, if you have piping gels and buttercream, it gives more stretch when you're piping leaves. I'm not sure what Janie's, Janie Scott has done to call herself a nerd, but I'm interested. So Janie Scott said, this is an unconscious irony, Viv. It's really made me laugh. Sorry, I am such a nerd. What? <laughs> I don't know what she's done. That looks really pretty. Oh. Isn't that lovely, that? So there you are, so she showed you how to do, if you were doing it with a template, so printing something off of Google, or if you've got some nice cutters, push your cutters into the board and Have do it that way. Have you got any um, white wonder dust? Any what, white wonder, wonder dust? yeah. Yes. I'll try and hunt for it, just one second. That might be the white sparkle. Did you use white sparkle or white pearl? Or the snow pearl? Is it called snow oh, pearl? Snow, I think. Yeah. Well, you've got white sparkle. Yeah. Then. I've still got just under half a jar left of um, gel, even though I've done all of that. Amazing. Where's Lincoln? Lincoln is in with John tonight. Lisa managed to smuggle him in the car. <laughs> no. That's come up really sparkling, lovely. Well, we've got, I think we've got five new colours coming as well in the Wonder Dust. So we've definitely got blue, we've got like a pink. 
And Lisa asked me before what was the uh, rest of the colours, and I can't remember. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Is the gel vegan? Look on the side of the pot. Ingredients, glucose syrup, water, gelling agent, so I doubt it. Yeah, no, it's probably got gelatin in it, isn't it? Yeah, we doubt it. The rose looks amazing, they love that red rose. Is saying, so why do I think I'm doing something on the 21st? I'm not sure. But we're going live on the 21st and uh, it will be with Molly Robbins in the kitchen showing you how to use her new baby's mould. So what she said is customs have just released them. She hopes to get them early next week. She's going to package them up and as you know she doesn't live far away from us. So she's going to come and drop them off and we're going to dispatch them all. So if you've ordered your babies, and then she'll be in the following week to show you how to use them. That looks lovely, that, um, that one, it doesn't really it? It really does. King, what onesie should I wear to bear? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put yes. I'm gonna ask if you're going along the coast road, coast road, pick her up in Bognor Regis. A feeder, what is the clear stuff you're using, please? Piping gel. What does piping gel taste of? Right, give us a give you a bowl, let's have a taste of this. Mummy dad. Sugar. Uh, sugar. It's got no flavour, has it? It actually tastes very nice actually. Oh does it? I'm amazed. I've never tasted it. I I've say, only had it on a cake. I actually say I was expecting it to taste horrible, but it actually tastes very nice. You don't need to play with that. It actually tastes very nice. Let me have a squeeze. You tasted it? Yeah, it's just sweet. Mm. Mm. It tastes nice, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Are you Jackie Whitman, can I, can I just be by travelling from South West Scotland to Cornwall for a coffee? <laughs> <laughs> I use the same bars which I use the white um, sparkle and put the brown in and it's come out really really nice. <laughs> what have you done with it? I used the same bowl, put a bit of brown in it for the inside of the sunflower and for the white sparkle. Yeah. And um, it's come out really really nice. Oh look at that, yeah it has hasn't it? It's given it like a glaze, yeah. like a pearl shine hasn't it? I don't need a bag for that one, I'm just going to... So Mary, I'm going to a place called Relic, and you're not far, so you're more than welcome. You can have a drive down and see us, that's not far. So that will be Saturday the 8th of May. And Lisa Barker says she keeps falling asleep because it's so therapeutic. No. The good thing is she keeps waking up. It must be when, <laughs> must be when I speak then. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Watch as she falls asleep, Carol speaks, God, it's her again. They're saying it looks beautiful, gorgeous, stunning. So who's going to give this a go? Go on, who's going to be first tomorrow or tonight? Who's got piping gel at home and itching to have a go? That looks stunning, Lisa. Really well done. That one? Yeah, looks beautiful. And then this one.
Isn't that beautiful? Who's going to give that a go then? Oh, that time flew by. Sorry, I'm just trying to catch up through questions because there's that many. Yeah, the blue, we haven't got blue in stock yet. It's a sample that we had here. So when we when we get the samples in from the suppliers, they come in little bags. So I just I just decanted it into a, a little pot here for Lisa to use. And it's gorgeous. Yep. Is the sugar paste? Is it on sugar paste? You can trace a picture and mark through with a scriber. Yeah, you can do that as well. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Right, there we go. Right, I'm gonna to have to just pass all the all the questions out. The blue flower is the new wonder dust, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep, yeah, there we go. Beautiful, stunning, absolutely super. Viv Goddard says I've got, if I've got pipe and gel I'm giving it a go. So go on, who's going to give the uh, Harlem horses looks amazing, definitely going to give this a go. Oh brilliant. Can't wait to see everyone's yeah, no, I can't wait you can, you can choose any picture, really, any image, so you can just go for it. Yeah, I must admit, I want to have a go. I'm dying to have a go. Could you mix luster dust into the piping gel? Yes, that's what she's done. Yeah, I've done that with the um, white on this one. Oops, sorry. Oh. There. So you can see it, it's just sparkling away. And I've done it with the blue on this one. gives it a really nice shimmer and you can see the brown sparkling well yeah a yeah a bit of white wonder dust in the brown now here's a compliment lisa miles darcy has said i think that's one of the most beautiful ways to decorate the top of a cake i have ever seen oh thank you so that's much yeah amazing. that is you know lovely what? i think that's actually a very fair comment that it does it just it's so sh easy yeah and but so effective yeah. um i have to say it's fantastic so what we're going to do here oh and you finished six minutes i know early, so i didn't even really i thought it was only going to be like quarter past nine i was like oh, what am i going to do for 45 minutes like <laughs> see that it was five fifteen. it's like wow that time has flown by and have you enjoyed your night here i have it's been brilliant i really have and thank you everyone for your Lovely, kind comments of support before the live as Look well. The camera and sorry, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. And have you got over your nerves? Amy? I have, I Good. have. And they might be back tomorrow morning. I'm baking tomorrow. You're which... not, if you're not back, back, you are back. No, tomorrow. I am. I am back tomorrow morning baking. It's straightforward, easy. What I call in a bowl with a spoon baking that you can do with the children. Because I thought the kids are still off on school holidays. So it's something they can do. One of the recipes is my dad's recipe. Um, so it's really, really old. But I'm going to do a little bit of a modern twist with it and use some um, sugar and crumbs, flavoured icing sugar in with it. But they're really good fun for the children to get involved with as well. So, yeah. Well, that's good because the children are off school, so that's yeah. brilliant. So that's what I thought because they're easy. There. Cause I grew up making, I'm doing something called raspberry buns. I grew up making them as a child with my dad. Um, my children have grown up making them with me, um, so I just thought, oh, it's a nice, easy one. And then what was really big in last year in the first lockdown was the donut muffins or duffins. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to do them and use a few uh, different sugar and crumb flavourings in them. So, well, yeah. fantastic, Lisa. Well, I will tell you that the love, love hearts and everything else that has come in for you tonight has been fabulous oh, thank absolutely you lovely. so much and you, what i am going to say is i always love it when a sugar and crumbs member comes into the kitchen who's not a tutor who's just one of us guys and has given it a go and i think you've done I've yourself really, very well oh, thank you i really really enjoyed it thank you everyone it's been brilliant and it's been the most wonderful relaxing demo does that mean ours are not wonderful <laughs> <laughs> Game, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you everyone for joining us, and we're going to see you in the kitchen tomorrow at half past eleven. Now, at half past eleven, it's just going to be Lisa and Simon. Uh, Terry might come and do comments. I'm not sure yet, but um, it will be Lisa and Simon in the kitchen tomorrow baking. And I will see you on Monday night. So don't forget, lots of classes next week. Rachel Hannah is in on Monday. 
Joe Griffin is in on Friday. I'm in on, on Tuesday afternoon. So you've got three lots of classes if you're in those classes. Please make sure you join your groups. And then um, I will be doing a live on Monday night. God knows what I'll be doing on Monday night. So <laughs> I think I might do the ganache kits again. I think I might put myself through it. And do them in the fridge as someone's requested. Well, I think what I might do is I might do them in the fridge before and have them ready uh, and then do them again. So I think I might make yeah. a set, put them in the fridge so we can do the reveal and show yeah. how to do them again. Right, so they've loved the live. Well done. So thank you, everyone. Good night, and we'll see you at half past 11 tomorrow with Lisa and Simon in the kitchen. Night. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye.